they finished second. And the quality of the teams that finished first in the group, of course, traditionally is high, but it seems even more high when you take a look at this year and their potential opponents in the draw. Liverpool, Ajax, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Manchester United, then Chelsea or Juventus. You look at those, and if you're drawn against PSG, does it bring you the same sort of fear that it would do in the past given what we've seen this season? Uh, I, I, I still... I would still say yes because of the unknown with them at the moment. Right. On any given day, they've they've been pretty average with the squad that they've assembled. There's no doubt. And forget this Club Bruges game. I mean, the bottom four points. Yeah. At uh, Club Bruges, it's all very well shining against teams that are bottom in the Champions League group stage. But they've been bang average by the squad that they've assembled. But but it only takes one spark, one big team performance, one special. Uh, night from that front three if, you know, depending on when Neymar's fit and that could change and I think that's always the concern I think on paper at the moment it mm -hmm. doesn't look likely but by the time the knockout stages come around, I, yeah, the knockout stages come around, yeah. whenever that is in a few weeks time or whatever it just could be a different story. I mean you can't, you can't not say they're potential champions can, can, but what have you seen that's told you that no, they're not nothing. the champions? Absolutely nothing. But you can't not turn around and say these are potential champions. Because if you've got Mbappe, Neymar and Messi, the potential for them to, to destroy any team is there. But that, so so they have to be potentially... Be realize, but that's just, got nothing to do with it. It doesn't matter. Me. OK, so the, so the opposite of that is you look at PSG, yeah. if you're any of those teams and go... Well, we've nothing to worry about. OK, they <laughs> might have Mbappe, Messi and Neymar, but they've been absolute garbage. Right. Don't worry, lads. No. They, they potentially, if they can get it together, could win this. They could. Frank? Um, well, I just want to remind people that uh, they always conceded goals in Premier League, in uh, League One, sorry, and in Champions League. But the only time where I think the... the normally should have lost that game. They kept the clean sheet against Manchester City and won 2-0 at home. Mm. Last season, they normally should have lost against Bayern Munich and they won that game away from home. I think it was or something like that. But it's possible. Everything is possible with that, with that team because in uh, one second or two seconds, those, those players at front can change the game because of the, of the fantastic action. And if... For once, you know, the defense wants to work together with the midfield, with the midfielders. And if you have a fantastic Navas or Donnarumma, and you have Ramos, Marquinhos, Ekipembe at the back, and, and Pochettino st starts thinking about playing at three at the back, everything is possible for Paris Saint-Germain, and they can be dangerous. Imagine they play against Manchester United. They can win against Manchester United, I think. My God, yeah. Even if anybody could finish first. first. <laughs> no, no, I understand that, yeah. Frank. But we're talking about Manchester City. We're talking about Chelsea. We're talking about Bayern Munich. We're talking about Liverpool. The real well, big they, boys. They, they, beat Manchester, they beat Manchester City. Well, they cannot, they cannot play against Manchester City because they're already in the group stages. But they beat Manchester City. I think they can beat Chelsea. They can beat Juventus. Uh, and also can beat Real Madrid. Uh, I'm sure on, in, a, in two games, in two legs, they can do so because they have the talent. But they can be destroyed as well. Everything is yeah, possible with that team. This is it, but we're, we're kind of stretching. I mean, we're clutching at straws a little, Frank. And then what have you seen to suggest that despite that talent, that they can come together on the day and do it? Uh, because, because those players have the talent to, to suddenly start working together. And right. because of their individual talent, make the difference. That's it. And you don't know what the opponent is going to be, in which uh, uh, mood the, 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 the opponent is going to be as well. It's why I say it's, it's football, after all. It's, it's a human sport, <laughs> I guess, like other, any other sport, but it's human, so everything is possible. Well, it's alien sports. Don? <laughs> uh, I just don't trust them over two legs, Dan. I don't. I mean, I get what the lads are saying, and, and they're right, because... They're just so unpredictable because they've got quality players at the top end of the pitch. You always think they're going to turn it on. And then if they've got Verratti, who's brilliant in midfield, and Marquinhos at the back and Donnarumma, you start trying to put little pieces together and Hakimi at right back. And you look at it and you go, God, oh, they're brilliant. But then when you come up against a Bayern machine or a Liverpool m machine or a Man City machine who can just keep the ball away from you, are the likes of Messi going to track back in the important moments of a game? 
Will Mbappe track back? Will Neymar track back in the important game? Will they help their midfield? Can they grind something in the second leg? We all know they can turn it on against anyone because they're like the Harlem Globetrotters. They're just brilliant technicians and amazing players and legendary players. But stick them up against a machine over two legs, I don't see it. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.